listen okay so one of my subscribers sent this to me on instagram for my opinion um it was actually a woman who sent this to me and so this woman posted on instagram and she said imagine disrespecting your man and i run up to him like this afterwards and the comment section went wild okay the women in the comment section went wild you know from calling pick me and home wrecker and this and that you know women always get so upset when women are standing there talking about you know what they would do if you slip and if you mess up and i do want to give my take on it okay you know, it's so interesting that a lot of women, they get so mad when they talk about infidelity and a man cheating and this and that. And, and you know, we're not even going to talk about the fact that when we look at statistics, the amount of women who are actually out there cheating, although they complain that cheating is the worst thing that could, you know, ever happen in a relationship and that men are, you know, dogs and this and that because they cheat. We're not even going to talk about that. But I will. Because the uh, rates are just about the same for men and women. Women like to run around and say men are cheaters, men are all dogs, this and that. But that percentage is right around the same amount. And we all know that women get away with it a lot more. Men usually just end up telling on themselves. But women are extremely conniving, extremely secretive, extremely manipulative. So they can hide things like that very well. So because they don't get caught, it's easy for them to say, well, men cheat more than women. But like I said, it's right about the same amount. But, you know, when it comes to all of these situations of a man cheating on a woman or a woman getting her heart broken because a man cheated, it's very interesting because if we want to be extremely honest about this, I don't know if you guys are ready for the level of honesty that I'm trying to come with. Please bring it, sis. We need more women like you to just keep telling the truth. It doesn't matter if people like it. They need to hear the truth break it down right now like i don't even know if i'm doing too much for you guys right now coming to you with this level of honesty but i can only be real and if you want my opinion and if you send me a video i'm going to give you my real uncut unfiltered opinion about a situation a lot of women in relationships save the relationship or uh, you know, change their attitude, their demeanor, their disrespect to stay in a relationship when there is the threat of another woman somewhere nearby. That's called competition anxiety. Just in case you needed the definition. Is that too real for y'all? Let me say it again. When there is another woman present threatening to take away anything in regards to a relationship with a man, there is a lot of women who change their tune. All of a sudden, the disrespect that they are slewing to their partner, they are dialing it back. All of a sudden, he is only, you know, referred to as as sir and king and daddy. All of a sudden, they have this nurturing behavior. Um, you know, the, all of a sudden, they weren't they weren't making time for him before, and he was neglected in the relationship. All of a sudden, they have all the time in the world to spend with this man. They cook in meals. You know, they they spread in the bed. They uh, they leave his pajamas out. They run in his bath water. Yeah, they definitely open up a can of act right real quick. The big can from Costco. All because of the threat of another woman. A lot of women gonna say, well, you know, it couldn't be me because, you know, I'll leave and all this and all that. Okay, a lot of women say that. But if a lot of women were very truthful, they would say that they were on the brink of whatever situation. And it made them realize what they were letting go or what they were ruining within the relationship. That's true. You know, a lot of women like to pretend that I just leave. I just do this and that. Where are you going to go? What kind of choices are you going to actually have? See, women like to front a lot, but the truth is they don't mean what they say. That's why a lot of times if they do leave, they come back. Or they want it back in. You see, the truth is a lot of women 
go out onto the internet or go to their friends or their co-workers and complain about situations in the relationship, but they only tell half of the truth. The portion of the truth that they tell is, you know, what is happening based off of the effect of the things that they have caused in the relationship to begin with. Oh, you know, he don't, he don't tell me he love me. Oh, you know, he's not doing this for me or he's not doing that for me. You know, the, 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 the spark is gone. The relationship, everything that used to be is not how it was. You know, he just got so used to me, you know, things is just this and things are just that. But if we're really truthful about the situation, you became, you know, very disrespectful the more that you got comfortable being in the relationship with this man. That's very true because a lot of women will just let themselves go. They'll stop doing the things they did in the beginning of the relationship. And I think it's fair to say that man or woman, if you get in a relationship with somebody, somebody is acting a certain way, treating you a certain way you like it that's why you get in a relationship with them you expect them to continue that but a lot of times women don't have that same mentality they don't they don't have that same energy they think oh i got the man now we got kids we got married i can let myself go i can act any kind of way i want to because he's not gonna go anywhere i don't have to care anymore and then when those men start calling him out on that, then it becomes this, oh, the spark is gone. Oh, he's not the same. Oh, he's being disrespectful, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Women are allergic to accountability until they come across women that are threatening their relationship and they open up that can of act right because that competition anxiety goes through the roof. The soft, kind, nurturing, and caring person that you displayed yourself to be from the get-go is no longer present. So now he's in a relationship with somebody that he does not know. Can we be real about it? You know, he done got with you. When, when he first got with you, you was a freak of the week. Okay, you was talking about, you know, swinging from the ceiling fan <laughs> to jump on it. <laughs> Now, miraculously, all of a sudden, you don't got you don't want to, you have no desire, you got a headache, you got every excuse in the book, not understanding that this is a need for the man. If you guys watch my live stream from a year ago, the, the same post that I that I did on TikTok that you know got uh, so many views of women calling me, pick me this and that. When I say that men actually need intimacy, once again, a year ago. You know, men need intimacy. And the worst thing you can do as a woman is weaponize your your uh, sex against them. It, it's, it's never going to work out. I don't care what kind of master plan you think you have doing that. That is one of the top needs of men. And when you start playing games with that, that and children and, and money, you, you're just going to lose. You will be replaced. Let's be honest. You know that it's a need and you're purposely using it as a weapon to, you know, push him away and, 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 and have control over him or have control over the things that he does when it pertains to you. And you're weaponizing it. But what I loved about this video is that I feel like it is very healthy. It's just my opinion. This is my opinion. You're going to be mad at me, you can. But I'm just going to let you know, this is my personal opinion. I'm glad you're putting it out there with the personal opinion thing. Because so many people get offended by personal opinions. The truth is the truth. If it applies to you, it does. If it doesn't, move on. I think it is very healthy for women to realize and have in their minds that what you will not do, there is always somebody else who is very much willing. I think it's a very thought, uh, a very helpful thought process that should be locked away in a woman's brain when, when that comfortability kicks in. I mean, a lot of women have that same type of attitude when it comes to man, men, right? If he don't do it, another man will. You've heard women say this a lot 
So I don't think it's a far stretch to think it goes in reverse. But see, a lot of times women tend to only think about what they want, what they care about, and how, how dare a man do the same exact thing, think the same exact way. When that complacency kicks in, when the routine kicks in, what you huffing and puffing about, another woman be, would be willing. Let me show this video again, just in case you guys forgot how, how the next woman would be running. Running. Okay, that thing swinging from left to right. She is running full force to be of any support to this same man who you you realize the qualities of him when you first got with him but then you got used to him and started to dial things back i think it's also very important to to mention this now as women you guys watching this you know that you can read situations you can read women you can read men that's your intuition and you you have that it's a biological thing right so if you know that you can read every situation and read people size of a, up a room right when you walk in, don't you think it's feasible to think that a woman can tell if a man is depressed or a man is going through something in his relationship? Don't you think it's, it, it's feasible to think that that woman sees that and acts on that and tries to fill that void? Of course. Women are very smart. So as a woman, you need to understand that what you won't do, another woman will. It's as simple as that. What you won't do, somebody else will. The plate that you arguing that you don't want to make for him, somebody else will be willing. This is why it is very common, especially in the workforce, that a man is caught, you know, being uh, having a some kind of, you know, secret relationship with like a secretary, a co-worker, a this, a that, because all of the admiration that he's supposed to be getting from you when he comes home, he's not getting it. When he comes home, you telling him how good he ain't at this, you complaining, you're nagging, you're disrespecting him at the utmost level where his colleagues at work would never even think of. And then here he has an assistant who is seeing him in a role of power in a certain position and who is treating him as how he wants to be treated by you. This is why when a lot of women see that, you know, the man have like, you know, we could look at it even if we look on movies, if we look at social media, if we look on TikTok videos of people talking about their own personal business, you know, women will start showing up to the, to the job. Oh, yeah, you know, I brought stuff for the staff. As soon as they see that, you know, they go to the Christmas party. It was just Christmas, so y'all know. As soon as a lot of these wives go to the work Christmas party and start seeing some of the people that's in the office and what these women look like and how these women are stepping and how they are very strong in their feminine and how they are talking to your man, all of a sudden these women talking about, oh, babe, you know, did you want me to take you out for lunch? <laughs> It's funny because it's true. And a lot of women, they a lot of times before this happens, they don't want to be involved with, with the guy's job. They don't want to take him lunch. They don't want to do anything. But as soon as they see other women that are working there in that situation and they see what time it is, oh, they completely change. Because like I keep saying, the competition anxiety is real. Women need to feel like they can be replaced. I know you don't want to hear that, ladies, but it's true. When you don't feel like you can be replaced you act a fool and you think you good you too good you think you running things it's never good for you to think that you're running things that's why there needs to be a leader in a relationship and it needs to be a man it doesn't make you weak it doesn't make you less than him it means that you're playing the role that you're supposed to play and the thing is like i keep saying if you don't do it another woman will just like women say the same thing about men Oh, babe, you know, did you want me to bring this stuff over to you? Oh, did you want me to drop it at the office? I have to say it again. A lot of women, if, if we're being really honest, once another woman is in the picture that could possibly be willing to do all the things that you say that you don't want to do or once a woman has a certain twinkle or admiration in her eye towards your man all of a sudden you remember don't let it go too far i'm gonna say that don't get too comfortable 
Don't forget who you're with. Don't forget who you have. I mean, especially if you're with a guy that has some type of status, you know what I mean? You're just putting yourself at a disadvantage when you're acting like that. Because there's a lot of women that will love to just push you to the side to get that man. Because they know what to do. Why are you sitting there playing games, running around with your girlfriends, making up all these stories and these excuses? There's always going to be women out there, even though they're the uh, minority, there's always going to be women out there that will gladly come up, push you out the way and take your position. It is what it is. Don't let it go to a place that there has to be a disconnect between the two of you and somebody can swoop in for you to change your behavior and remember to tame your tongue. Remember that you can disagree respectfully. Remember the love and admiration you're supposed to have for this person who is responsible for leading you and protecting you and covering you. And another thing I want to mention before she finishes this video is that as a woman, you should not just do something because you're in threat of another woman doing it because men will see that as they can see that as, oh, you're just doing it because of this when you should have been doing it the whole time. So is this real or is this fake? When you get comfortable again, are you gonna start acting the same way? Just keep it 1000 all the way through, just be normal. Don't be playing these little games with, your, with sex and all this type of stuff. It's just gonna burn you in the end. Don't say your sister didn't tell you. I told you. I like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I would love to hear you guys' opinions on this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you. Thanks a lot for watching this video, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching my videos. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.